If only, if only, if only there was some way to show some guy cutting the same six inch piece of plywood every week. Micro Jig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. I've had a lot of success in the past bending wood just by cutting really thin strips. And it just takes a little trial and error. Obviously this one is just way too thin. It's almost like paper. I need to make three hoops and I've got a bunch of extra strips here because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna break or split some of them, but you know, if they're small splits, it just adds to the rustic charm. I'm trying to pick out the thinner strips for the tighter circles because I want three different sizes. I think I can clamp these together with masking tape. Oh, oh that, that horrible cracking sound. You can hear it right before it's getting ready to just pop. So this one's, this one's too far gone to be charmingly rustic. Well, that one's split, but I, I think it still has a little charm left in it. Okay, well, it's been about an hour. I'm gonna see if the glue held tight. I'm gonna use a piece of plywood for the base. I'll just trace out the smallest hoop. It's not exactly a perfect circle, but I don't think it matters. I think it would have been a better idea to wrap the band around this to begin with rather than glue it up first. But I think I can make it fit. Uh-oh. And that was not a good idea. Okay, let's see what happens here. <laughs> okay, what have I learned here? This was not a good way to do it, but I still have a bunch of these strips, so I think I could just glue them right around this, don't you think? This is just gonna be one of those projects. I really think this is gonna be the better way to do this anyway. Whoops, well, that's all split. I don't know about this. Clamps, I need clamps. Ah, oh, it's splitting. Okay, so the nails aren't really working. This thin wood just kind of pops out of them. So, I'm gonna use this stapler. There we go. That's what I should have done in the first place. Uh-oh. <laughs> this isn't really working out the way I planned it to. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of rustic charm. <laughs> Just, that side will go up against the wall. You'll never see it. There, there's a handy tip. Always put the crappy side against the wall. I think I've got a new brilliant idea. I can take this really paper thin piece and wrap it around that. You know, just act as a, as a molding strip. <laughs> this is just one of those projects. I'm getting rustic charm all over myself. <laughs> Do you know what this project needs to, to really bring out some comments down below? Pocket screws. Okay, here goes. This is gonna be awesome. Trust me. Look at that. Just cover up all those bad areas. I've got a bunch of pallet woods. Okay, that's, that's not too bad actually. So I'm gonna see if I can glue and staple these boards in place. Obviously I'm only gonna be able to have two points of contact on each one, but I think that's gonna be okay. Okay, now see if this will work. I'm gonna make this work.
Well, after letting this sit overnight and coming back down here and looking at it anew this morning, it, it really doesn't look that bad. Of course, I'm pretty sure this project isn't gonna go viral. I wonder if I could slice cake with it. <laughs> well, you can give it a little bit of sanding and see how that perks it up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it didn't need any sanding. <laughs> Guess what, this project's done. I think the strategy now is to decorate this and try to get a good thumbnail photo. I should be able to find some stuff out here. Ah, there's ants all over that. One thing I've figured out is that there no longer is a good side and a bad side. Well really, this is all about enhancing the rustic charm. Or disguising it. I feel sort of like Harvey Keitel's character in Pulp Fiction. Hey, look who showed up. Well there's your perfect still life right there. Rustic basket with cat. Well, I want to thank you for joining me this week on Woodworking for Mere Mortals. All in all, it actually turned out pretty good. My wife hadn't seen it and she walked up the stairs yesterday and she said, oh, that looks so cute. If you enjoyed this project, I've got another rustic project similar to this that I did last year. Don't forget, there's the entire month of October for you to get involved in Maker's Care. Please check out makerscare.org. We're raising a bunch of money for the Make-A-Wish Foundation, and all you need to do is make an airplane out of any materials you like. Thanks again, everybody. I'll see you next week.